Um, our next speaker is Chris Hardy. Uh, my name is Chris Hardy, and I work on Bell 2, which is a large international collaboration. Uh, it's a particle physics experiment located at the KEK laboratory in Japan. It operates at the Super KEKB E plus E minus collider, which is the world's highest luminosity collider. Uh, you can see the large uh, detector here. It's actually not that large by the standards of particle physics, but in absolute sense, it's large. Now, Bell 2 has a very large physics program. What I'm interested in is dark matter. Now, all have heard undoubtedly about dark matter, but there's abundant astronomical evidence, but no lab observations to uh, give us any hint as to what it is. Now, one, there's a lot of theories, of course, to explain it, but a recent, uh, area that's very hot are called dark sector theories. And these propose a set of particles that interact only feebly with the standard model. And this would include dark matter, but also include particles that connect dark matter to our particles, the particles that actually exist, the standard model that we know exists, I mean to say. Uh, Bell 2 has unique abilities to search for this type of physics dark physics and similar types of new physics. So this is a Feynman diagram. You don't have to know anything about Feynman diagrams to get the gist of what's going on here. You collide an electron, a positron, this gives a photon and a hypothetical particle called the dark photon that would decay to the dark matter. So the only thing we can observe in our detector is the one photon. This is an example of the type of, of analysis that we could do with our uh, data set. What gives us this unique capabilities are the uh, features of the E plus E minus collider, where it's a very clean environment. It's also the fact that we are going to get a tremendous amount of data. Our goal is to get 100 times what we uh, collected in the last experiment we did like this, which was called the bar. This diagram on the bottom right here gives, uh, predicts where in parameter space in these uh, parameters of this model the theories, the parameters have to exist to explain the astronomical dark matter. And the point is we have access that we should be able to uh, reach these part of the parameter space. So in other words, if this theory does explain dark matter, we should be able to see it in our experiment. So this is just one example of the type of physics I do, but this uh, direct search is for new, new physics. It's a good time to join. We've just started taking data. So if you're interested, please get in touch.